Okay, so the first thing that we want to do to create our cauldron is create a new file. If you're not sure how to open Illustrator, just open your start menu and it should open there. I'm going to make this an 8 by 8 inch. Make sure it says inches here and not points. I'm going to go ahead and name this my cauldron. And I'm going to click create. The first thing we want to do is start off with our ellipse tool. The first thing we're going to do is start off with a oval shape for like the top of our cauldron. Then we want to come over here and increase our stroke maybe to about 12. And then we want to change our stroke color. Now your cauldron can be any color that you choose. It could be purple, orange, black, green, whatever you would like. So I'm going to make mine a purple color, but I don't want it this bright. Again, feel free to make it whatever color you like. Then we want to come and turn off the fill for this shape. So now we're going to copy this by clicking Control C on our keyboard, and we're going to paste it in the back by selecting Control V on our keyboard. Okay, so this one should still be selected. What we want to do now is turn off the stroke for this one, and then add a fill for this one. So first I'm going to start off with the same color, but then I'm going to go in want it to be darker. So I'm going to start back up here. This color. So it's going to be the inside of our cauldron. Now we're going to create the body of our cauldron. So we're going to make a larger ellipse. It doesn't have to be a complete circle. something like this. I'm going to go back and select that first color. I'm going to right click, arrange, and send this to the back. Just kind of start playing with this. It's okay if things show up here because remember we can always get rid of it with the shape builder tool. So I'm going to kind of just leave that the way it is for now. I'm going to highlight everything, get my shape builder, and I'm going to hold alt to subtract that top part. Then I'm going to use my direct selection tool here. I'm just going to kind of bring this in a little bit so it's not so rounded. Now we're going to start off by adding some shadows to our cauldron. We're going to select this um, body shape here that we have, and we're going to copy it twice. We're going to do Control C and then Control F to, to uh, paste in front, or sorry, yeah, paste in front. So we're going to select this top copy, and we're just going to move it to the left a little bit. to kind of give a shape here. And then we're going to make this color here darker, kind of back to that um, color that we had. So that will be our shadow. Now we're going to select both of these. So I have this one selected. I'm going to shift and hold this one. And then I'm going to get my shape builder and subtract this shape on that side. So you should have something like this. So now we're going to add a shadow here so that the rim will stick out more. So we're just going to do that by creating an ellipse over this. We are just going to go here to our layers panel. I want this layer and this layer to go to the front. So I'm going to right click arrange, bring to front. So now we can mess with this more to get this 
the shape that we want. Okay, so now we're going to select this shape and our bottom shape. Get the Shape Builder tool, hold Alt. We're going to subtract that top shape. Okay, so now we have something like this. And if that's not working for you, let me bring that up because I think it's a little too much. I'm going to go back with my Shape Builder to remove these extra lines. Okay, so now the next thing we do is add a little bit of highlights. Okay, so I've selected this layer. I'm going to Control C to copy, and I'm going to paste it twice by doing Control F and Control F. Okay, so I made two copies of that face of the cauldron. We're going to move one of the copies, so just select one, and we're going to move it over to create like a highlight shape here. See, I know it's the same color right now, but you can kind of see here it's the highlight shape. Okay, now we're gonna select both those copies. So I'm gonna hold, uh, select this one, hold shift and select this one. Now I'm gonna open my Pathfinder. If it's not showing up here, you can go to Window and select Pathfinder. And we're gonna minus front, okay? So now we have this selection that is by itself, and we're going to go and change that color to a lighter version. So you can make a copy of this by just clicking and dragging it down there. It'll make a copy, and you can, to easily make the same shade of a color, just double click over here and drag your slider to make your highlight color. Okay, so now what we're going to do is grab our eraser tool. First, we want to select this uh, highlight that we made, grab our eraser, and we're just going to erase like a piece of it here. Okay. Then with it still selected, we're going to scoot it over. I'm just going to erase a little bit more from the top. Now I can actually just get rid of that piece that was up here, maybe. Which is right here. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to move that. And I'm just going to kind of scale this in a little bit so I don't want it to touch. I'm going to bring it up a little bit there. And you can tweak that any way that you choose. Now we're going to do is make the base of our cauldron. I'm going to use the ellipse tool to create um, a circle base. First, I want to make sure I have my color back. I'm going to make two circles. For the base of my cauldron. Just make sure this one is sent to the back. If you want to make sure they're lined up, you can do Control R to show your rulers and create a guide. Let's see where the middle is, try to get them a little bit even. All we're going to do is create our potion shape here in the middle. So we're going to select this dark purple, which is in the back. So we want to make sure we have yeah, the right one selected. Okay, so I'm going to control C and control F to copy that in place. And I'm just going to scale it down smaller. And you can go ahead and change the color that you want your potion to be. Just kind of 
kind of mess with it there to get it the way you want it. You actually can bring this all the way in. You won't see the, maybe you won't see the whole inside on this side, but you'll see it on the back side, if that makes sense. Okay, so now we're gonna make some little bubbles to go in here. First, we're gonna make just a simple short circle. Let me get our direct selection tool done. We're gonna click on this bottom anchor point here and delete it so that we have half circles now. And what we wanna do is lighten that color. So we'll come over here, double click, and find a lighter version of that. Okay, so you're going to create multiple bubbles at different sizes. So if you hold Alt, you can uh, scale these down. You know, make sure they're different sizes. So now we're going to use the ellipse tool to draw out, sorry, draw an eyeball. Go ahead and find a color you want for that. I'm not going to use bright white. I'm going to change it a little bit. Okay. Now go ahead and pick a color that you will make a, go ahead and make a copy of your eye. Paste it in front using Control F, and then we're going to make the iris part of the eye. Okay, and that can be whatever color you would like. Okay, then you're going to make another copy of that, paste it in front, front by using Control F to make the pupil. Okay, now we're going to add a little highlight, so I'm going to copy and paste in front this uh, black part of the eye, bring it down and make that white. And if there's not a lot of difference in that, then maybe you want to change this color up a little bit more so that your highlight will pop a little bit more there. So we want our eyeball not to just be floating here randomly, we want it to kind of be sitting in there. So what we're going to do is get a rectangle, get our rectangle tool and just kind of draw a shape down there to kind of split this eyeball up. So we're going to use our shape builder, sorry, select all of your, your eyeball in your rectangle first and use your shape builder and subtract everything that's down here. Okay. Then you can select this, right click, and group it together so that you're able to drag it all in one piece. You can scale this down as big or small as you want it. And you're welcome to make multiple eyeballs if you want, you can add more in there. And now we can go ahead and let's grab this color back. I'm going to make some more circles to stop some bubbles coming out of the culture. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could come back and create some highlights for your bubbles. And there's multiple ways you can do that. Um, I'm just going to kind of attempt draw something here, fill it with white. And maybe not so white. Maybe grab that color. Make it a 
much lighter green. Okay, you could add that to some of your bubbles, not necessarily have to be all of them. If you wanted, you could add more objects in your bedroom there. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna add little handlebars to our cauldron. I'm just gonna get, uh, I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool and create a circle here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I don't wanna create the other one yet because I'm just gonna copy and paste it here in a second. I'm gonna switch the fill and the stroke and just turn up my stroke a little bit. And I'm going to right click, arrange, and send that to the back. And then just kind of place that where you want. You can resize it if you feel you need to. Okay, so I'm going to hold Alt to make a copy of that. Let's make the handles, and I'm just going to check the size of these. And then for the background, I would like for you to add a gradient. So to do that, you can just create a square shape over your cardboard. And right now there's no fill. Go ahead and select just a color for the fill for now. And we're gonna go ahead and arrange and send that to the back. We're gonna open our gradient panel. So you can do that by going to window gradient. You click down here on the slider and you can choose at least two colors. You can do more if you'd like of what you would like to use for your gradients. <clears throat> okay, and you can also mess with the angle of your gradient. So you can come here and play with that. You can also choose this circular type of gradient and play with the angle of that. Doesn't do anything. So you can increase the percentage of that to make it different. Okay, so things that you should have is your gradient background, you should have bubbles, your potion, at least one eyeball, some bubbles coming out, your cauldron with a highlight and a shadow, your rim with the inside showing, two handlebars and two objects for your base. If you wanted, you could come and create like a shadow for this. So of course right now it still has my gradient. I'm just gonna get black and change the opacity. I'm gonna send that to the back and then send my background back. Okay, so go ahead and either save that as a PDF or export it as a PNG. I'm just gonna export mine, export as, find my folder. I'm gonna check use artboards and click export. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at medium 150. The background color you can choose, but since we put a background over it, it won't show, so it shouldn't matter, and click okay. Then if you're saving as a PDF, of course, you just go to File, Save As, change to a PDF. Please don't turn in a screenshot for this one. I want the actual file. And then you should be able to turn it in.